Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. My partner, I've waited a long time for you to allow me to sit in this place. This place of purity and intuition and origins. 28 years. To be able to be here and to feel the energy and know what is here. It's a special time, a special day. I want to talk about a few things. But there are so many of you who have never felt this live before. Not like this. My partner is connected to the other side of the veil while he channels. In the process of this, he steps aside. In stepping aside, dear ones, it is not an out-of-body experience. That is not needed any longer. He listens. He understands. He can remember what is being said. It's almost like he's standing in the other room with the door just a little open. There is so much here. Dear ones, I know every single one of you. Is that difficult for you? I am not an entity. I am a piece of the whole. And so are you. If you had to define God, what would it be? Where would it be? What has this meant to you in the past? Where does it lead you to right now as you listen to this, this message? What if I told you that inside you there is something, an essence, some have called it a soul, and it's forever. Today it's human. A million years ago it might have been Pleiadian. A million years before that, it was watching planets occur. A billion years before that, it was watching the universe begin in certain places. Fourteen billion before that, it was in another universe. Dear ones, you are eternal. <clears throat> the eternalness of what is inside of you gives you that which is the wisdom, the purity. The awareness of what is going on on the planet right now. I want to talk to you about this purity that my, my partner felt. He never felt anything like it. Because it isn't on this planet in the way it is on the other side of the veil. This channel is about energy. The next channel will be about information. I want to tell you what's in that purity. What is it that you can feel when you connect? I'm not talking about the information that you would get about necessarily your help for your life or how to do this or how to do that. I'm talking about the connection. What does it feel like? What is there? Do you know why I know you? Because there is no separateness in God. There is only a oneness of God. And that means that all of you together are a piece of the oneness of God. I know you because you are part of me. And I am part of the oneness of God. There are many what you would call pieces of God on the planet. You assign those who would help you or fight your battles or wipe away the negativity. <clears throat> or assign to your health or relationships or to your lifespan. But dear ones, there's only one source. I represent the source as I talk to you now and I want to tell you in this room there is a gathering beginning. 
In fact, it was here before you got there, but right now it's beginning to gather with even more. And some of you will feel it, and some of you will know it, and some of you will absolutely remember this day. Because as you start to understand what is happening in the room right now, and you connect to the oneness, the oneness of every single spiritual system of the planet. There's only one source, one tree. If you start connecting to the one source, everything else goes away. All of the boxes, the rules, the do's and the don'ts, all manufactured by humans for respect of God, but not demanded of God. I want you to know who is starting to arrive because in the system of the Akash there is a beauty that some of you have never been told about. The Akash is not just a record. The Akash that every single one of you carries the history of your of your experience on the earth but it's not just the experience. Oh, dear ones, how do I tell you this? These things are buried in deep places in your DNA. They come with you when you're born. It's a lineage of, of chemistry and also of lifetimes. And many times they're not the same. Lifetimes can be different than the lineage that you carry in your chemistry, but they're all there as energy for you. And with with this Akash comes in something else that you didn't expect. There is a system, dear ones. And the system says this, that when you pass over, a piece and a part of the oneness of your soul is passed to your children. And they carry it in their Akash, a piece of you in their experience. It's not linear, and those who told you it was are in a linear box of teaching because they don't know anything else but that. Those you've loved and lost are in your Akash right now. Have you ever had that which is a smell, for instance, of a parent that you've lost, and it comes from nowhere? That's them saying, I'm still here, I'm still here, I'm still here, I'm still here, I'm still here. There are those in the audience who've lost children. And they're still with you. And they will simply, they'll, 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 they'll give you signs that are so positive as proof. Mom, I'm still here. Dad, I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm still here. There's an assignment that you have that you'll be with them for the rest of their life and their children will go into their gosh. It's more than a record. It contains so much more that is a symbol of the love of God for the human being. So that you can move forward, not in grief, but in joy. And that's what I want to talk about. What is it? on the other side of the veil that you would feel first. What is love to you? Mom, what is love to you and your child? Let me ask you this. When you think of the birth of your children and the day it happens, are you somber? <laughs> Oh, you may love them. It might be the, the greatest day of your life. But you're not somber. You're not sad. You're not angry. You are filled with the most beautiful joy and laughter that is possible with a human being. You want to sing to the, to the heavens of the life form that has come from you. Oh, life giver, woman, listen. This is a day for celebration. Is God above that? Do you think God is below that? What I'm trying to say is this. That on the other side of the veil is joy. And laughter. Just like when you have the child. 
Not judgment. Not anger. Not disappointment. This is the purity of love. My partner said to you earlier, there is a way to tell whether someone is connected or not. There is a way to tell if they're connected or not. When they stand in front of you, do you feel the joy? It's simple, dear ones. If it's some high teacher who sits in front of you and what they have is all seriousness demanding this and that and showing certain kinds of wisdom for this and that if you don't see the joy run the other way for the love of God is something that fills you with the most amazing joy and laughter it passes through the veil and life giver woman you know what this feels like at the moment of birth and the release and all the pain that you had the first time you see the infant all you want to do is laugh and joyful singing and that's God I want you to feel that right now because in this place right now is the ability to connect beyond what you thought you're in the right place at the right time for connection a connection to the purest of the pure and what happens if you connect the cells of your body all of them know it the trillions of pieces of DNA they all know it because that is what you're starting to activate within your own cells the pieces of gold of joy the gold represents the wisdom and the direct connection to God and they start to vibrate together in the oneness and finally finally after all of the intellectualism that you might have had in the past and the questions suddenly there are no questions only love and as you take the deep breath of understanding all things are possible because you are connected to the source of joy of healing of consciousness of life how many of you are aware that the connection to the joy of God will allow you a very long life and a disconnection shortens your life did you know that there is programming in your cellular structure for your death a clock that ticks that measures the days and the nights and unless you talk to it or unless you connect to it it will do what it does and the chemistry will win but as soon as you connect every cell knows it and you start to change the clock you start to be in charge of every single process of your body you've seen this here haven't you you know what if I speak don't you the connection is personal you don't connect for others you connect with you and your soul I know your name I know what you've been through I know what brought you here and I want you to know these things I want you to feel the explosion of things you didn't expect and what you can bring from this place that will last the rest of your life if you truly connect this moment this day with all that is I want you to sit for just a moment it is a traditional thing to think on these things to enjoy them for just a moment 
before we continue. What if they were really here? What if the ones you've loved and lost are looking at you now? And they say, well done, my daughter, my son. What if the oneness will win over everything else? It wins over the intellect. It wins over the emotions that you've been told. It wins over the big lie that says they're gone forever. <laughs> I want you to teach your children well. That when your body stops breathing, it simply changes energy. And it goes to them. If they will accept it, they will feel you forever, mom, dad, just like you feel the ones you've loved right now. This is the oneness. There's no better way for me to teach this to a human being than to relate to what you think is death, for it isn't. Do you dare smile with joy? When you think of those departed, instead of the grieving or the sorrow, and if you can, that's the courage of that which is light and connection. If you can feel the joy of the oneness, you're connected. Oh, dear ones, the connection is prime. It comes before anything else. There are some in this audience who have come for a healing. You see, I know who is here. I do. <laughs> I know what you've been for, through. There is even a healing going to happen in the group that is not local. Because this is the time for it. You have created a portal of oneness that you are swimming in at the moment. There is so much activity here. Some of you can feel it. And the chills that you might have would agree and the body knows. Magnificent, all of you. Worthy, all of you. It may not be what you were taught, but it rings with truth. When I return, I want to tell you some things about where you sit. About what has happened to this patch of land, not the country, but the region. That represents perhaps one sixth of the area of the planet. That is so different than any other place. And that I want to tell you why. And I'll tell you a little bit about how it was created. It's not the history of India. It's the lineage of God. Of those that placed it here for you. I have to ask you something. Logically. If you ask a number of children to look for a prize and you told them it was around a certain forest and when they found it, something would happen. If you did that, dear adult, let me ask you this. Would you have the innocent children look for a prize that you withheld that was never there? Or would you carefully hide it just a little out of sight so they could find the seed, the prize, the beauty, the gold? And the answer is, adult, that you would indeed plant the prize. You wouldn't have them looking for nothing or never discovering something that was beautiful. The prize is buried here. <laughs> 
That's a metaphor. I'll tell you more in a bit. And so it is.